uh, hi all of you. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to stand before you today talking about uh, Mandra, which is a free and open source browser-based security framework. So we will be releasing the pub first public beta release of it over here in Clubhack. And uh, before getting into the project and all other stuff, let me talk about some uh, history. Uh, back in uh, 1994 to 95, we had Netscape Navigator as the prime browser. So uh, in that time, whenever someone says internet, the first thing coming to our mind was Netscape Navigator. It was so popular also, and then Microsoft started pushing their own browser, uh, Internet Explorer, and they provided it for free with the uh, uh, operating system. Now, uh, up after that, uh, Opera has came, and even though it was a paid software, it was uh, uh, a very good piece of software that everyone got addicted to. After that, uh, the free and open source product Firefox came, and Mozilla Firefox is still one of the best browser available out there today for the masses. Then, uh, of course, Google pushed their own browser, uh, Google Chrome, and according to them, it is one of the uh, best browser mod, uh, designed for modern world. And, uh, and today on Clubback, we have Mandra, which is a hacker's browser. And now it doesn't mean that it's going to be a replacement for your normal browser, but uh, for hacking and the penetration testing, uh, it's yes, uh, it's going to be a hacker's browser. So, talking about Mandra, we will discuss the basic. W5HL or what, where, when, why, who and how to's of Mandra. So you know, basically that will cover or that, that will basically answer almost all the questions about Mandra or basically it will cover everything about Mandra. So what? What is Mandra? What is the use? And what Mandra is not? Uh, Mandra is a collection of uh, hacking tools and add-ons. It has uh, almost all the best available hacker add-ons built, built on, on top of a browser. So once you have a Mantra security toolkit with you, you have access to almost all the tools uh, available out there on today that, uh, that can aid you or help you in penetration testing uh, attacks. So it's a security framework that can aid in exploit development. Uh, every day, like on uh, uh, Injector.com or Expert.db.com website, there are many exploits getting added to the website day by day. So, uh, if you are, uh, if you know one vulnerability and want to develop an exploit on to, uh, on based on it, and you don't know how to code uh, in uh, Python or Ruby or whatever it is, uh, Mandra can be helpful to you since it's going to make a a fresh and user-friendly framework that can help you in making the expert development easy. So at least uh, since uh, work is still going on of, uh, uh, of this uh, security framework, so as of now, Mandra is just a security toolkit. It has built on top of browser. So one of the main advantage of making uh, something based on browser is that you don't have to begin everything from the scratch. So you don't have to reinvent the, invent the wheel. I just started it off with uh, customizing Mozilla Firefox and uh, I also have a plan to make something based on Google Chrome too. And uh, it's cross-platform and flexible. So that means uh, Mozilla and Google are developing Chrome and uh, Firefox for all the almost all, all the popular operating system platforms, including Windows, Linux, Macintosh, BSDs, and all. So this framework is going to work flawlessly in all these browsers uh, with native support. You don't need any emulators or any other virtual environments for uh, running this tool. And it's, it's portable, it's light, and you can carry it in your memory card, flash drive, CD, DVD, etc., etc. And it's free, uh, and it's open source. That means you can download the source code at any point of time from our 
Salesforce website or Google website, and uh, you can uh, modify it, de redistribute it. There are no license issues. We are going by this Gnu GPL licensing. And uh, what is the use? Uh, that is the first question I faced when uh, talking about Mandra. What? Uh, okay, thank you. We are comparing the product. And uh, apart from that, uh, I, uh, I said many extensions are going unnoticed. Uh, like many uh, attacking tools are getting unnoticed just because of the fact that users now are not aware of it. So if you are integrating uh, this type of extensions to a browser framework and distributing it, definitely the creators of the extensions will uh, get recognition and they will come to know the inputs from the users. So uh, naturally, a good platform will get developed. So and apart from that, security researchers should know the power of browser platform. They should know that they can use their browser for uh, normal penetration testing attacks and this is not just about uh, uh, NetSquad or anything. So when, when you be needing mantra. So uh, if you are into, um, say, if you have a lot of time in your hand, then I would recommend you not to go for Mantra. You can take your time, uh, develop a tool like this yourself. You can just go through the source code, develop it again. So uh, that you too can do. But what we are trying to do is that, uh, if you are trying to uh, develop the same stuff, see uh, here we are getting a good community support and we are, uh, we are putting a lot of man work into it. So, if you are at a point of time, you need a product that can do penetration testing, security assessment, and uh, you don't have enough time in your hand to develop one tool yourself, then you can go for Monta. So, where you can find it? So, uh, our website is www.getmantra.com, and uh, we are we are hosting the project on core.google.com and a source project. And you can download alpha versions as of now. And the beta version, I'll be adding it to it uh, soon. And we have a dedicated forum at our main website itself. It's getmantra.com slash forums. And you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can get all the updates about releases, major plan changes and everything on twitter.com slash getmantra. So, who? Uh, who are needs it and who are behind it? So, if you are into auditing, penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, training, um, it's going to be beneficial for you. Say, suppose at a point of time, you are in a place where you just have an access to PC, I don't, you don't have your favorite tools uh, installed on your system, or you must, you should not be able to uh, do some reboot to run a matrix or backtrack in that way. In that time, you can just use our portable version of Mantra and can have uh, can perform almost all the three phases of attacks. And if you are into training, uh, you can provide the students with a set of. We are making uh, target um, target websites too, like uh, Metasploitable. So you can use Mantra to demonstrate some type of attacks to the students and to train them. So if you are a black hat, white hat or even a red hat, uh, it's going to be beneficial for you. So, who are not behind it? Uh, as of now, the core team is uh, only four people. Uh, we all are, uh, they are my colleagues and friends only. And hopefully after Club Hack, I'll be getting more developers in it. That's what I'm uh, thinking. And for test days, we had a uh, 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 few people from uh, my Matrix security community, including Dinesh, Prachal, and Padu. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I'm thankful to uh, all these uh, my Matrix Security Community guys and IRC guys for uh, providing uh, help and uh, support to us. Then, uh, how how you can contribute? And uh, if you uh, if you want to involve in the, this project, you can become a part of the community. You can join in our forums, IRC or uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, or sourceforge or code.google.com and you can uh, help us by uh, answering others' questions or uh, giving us suggestions. If you are a developer, uh, 
hard coder, then we can code more by extensions, or you can help us code in our own framework. Or if you are a designer, you can design themes, artworks, etc. for our bulk product framework or our website. So how it works looks, uh, I'll show you a demo. For this demo, I have set up a target website of over here. Uh, it's a um, server running over here, HTTP server. And uh, I'm running it on my VMware. And let me launch Mantra. It's still in alpha, so it's not going to be stable. Okay. So this is Mantra. You have a sidebar over here. Uh, we have lots of uh, extensions installed and framework is still on progress so I haven't integrated framework into product as of now. So in the next beta you will be uh, seeing a much more innovative uh, graphical user interface and uh, uh, tools in it. So let me uh, just connect to the uh, website uh, which I am running. So I have a target website over here. I develop it just for showing this demonstration and uh, we will just try to hack into this uh, website by using Mantra or how we can do that. So whenever we get a website, uh, by uh, out of curiosity what we will be doing is that we will be going to this login page and we will try some random passwords or we will try some SQL injection or something. So random passwords are not going to work here since uh, it's little bit long password. <coughs> it's not going to work. So let me, uh, even if I am using some SQL injection codes over here, I'm copy pasting it over here and log in. It's not going to work. Actually, uh, this form is uh, validating my inputs. So let's uh, let go. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about this form. So I have. Uh, you can see. We have tools over here. Okay. I'm going to the tools and you see. Firebug. So this is integrated into the uh, mantra. So I'm just going go to I'm going to activate this inspect element. I'm just and I'm just going to this form and it's saying that okay. I just clicked on the form and it is saying that it is showing that. There is a form named login form, and it is actually uh, checking, uh, validating my inputs using JavaScript. So it's a client side validation. I can easily bypass it using some uh, tools which are part of Mantra. So let me go ahead and bypass this uh, secure uh, login page uh, with Mantra. I'll be using leave HTTP headers. And let me try some uh, random password and username and I'm trying to log in. And uh, you can see that in that packet username is this one and password is this one. So I can reach and write it. I'm replaying the packet and I'm going to replace this username password with some SQL injection code and um, I'm, I'm not going to talk about how SQL injection, basic SQL injection works and all that uh, that you have to find out from somewhere else and uh, those SQL injection codes I'm using, uh, you can get it from Ferra, Matrinova websites and all SQL injection cheat sheets, you can google for it. So let me try some SQL injection codes over here.
And I'm uh, pressing on reply button. No, it's not giving any access. So 